this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make an odd time command with string elements. I'm also going to teach you how you can do this in different languages. My name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. If you have any questions about streaming, just hop in and say hi. So what we want to do is go to streamelements.com and click on my dashboard. If it doesn't say this for you, just log in with your Twitch. Then here on the left, we scroll down until we see something called chat commands. Click on that. If you do not see this, this tab is probably folded and you just need to unfold it. Then here we see default commands. If we scroll down, we will see the uptime command uh, somewhere. <laughs> there it is. We can just turn it on by clicking on this button and now it's turned on. But there's a thing. This will only say your name has been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes. If you want this to be a different text or a different language, we're gonna need to do this way differently. If you just want the Trui has been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes, just turn this one on and then go to your Twitch chat and type slash mod stream elements and then click on OK. Now it says stream elements already a model in my channel, but if you haven't done this, make sure to do this first. And then if we do exclamation mark uptime, it should be working. What we can also do is we can change the text or change the language. For that, we're going back and we just click on um, uptime off. I believe it's standard on, so make sure that's off. And then go to the top here and click on custom commands. Add new command and then type uptime in the command name bar. Now here as a response, we can do uh, Truey has been live for, and then dollar sign curly bracket, uptime curly bracket. This will transform into the actual time you've been live. What you also can do, because this is kind of standard and it's kind of like this, the, the standard one, is a Truey has been um, rocking it for, and then it will say the time. If you do speak a different language, uh, for example, I'm Dutch, so I do speak Dutch. Trui uh, is live for. So this is like basically the Dutch version of saying Trui is live for. And then the time. The only downside of this is that the time itself, the hours and minutes will always be in English, but the rest of the sentence you can basically translate in your own language. You can just make it funny words as well, just like whatever you want, you know, this will just be the uptime if you put this piece of code in there. Then we can set the user level to where you want it to be able to check. For me, I just like to set it on everybody so everybody can check it. And then um, we can also do advanced settings here if you want to change a little bit more. How should the bot say a message? Keep that on say. It just replies in the chat that way. Command costs zero, so it doesn't cost any loyalty points. User cooldown, that's the cooldown that is for this one person. And this is the global one, so this is for everybody. So I like to set this on a little bit higher, just so people can't spam it. You can also set the user cola a little bit higher if you want that. And the difference is basically this has been done by one person that just did it, and this by everybody. You can also have command aliases, so for example, if you want uptime to be triggered for another command as well. For example, the lifetime, life time. I don't know, like I'm just thinking of something. So this now also triggers for the command lifetime instead of only uptime. This is just another command. This is anywhere in the message. So like if somebody asked how long have you been live for and you would make this this live, then it will every time somebody says the word live, it will also trigger. But that can be bit spammy. Hello. I just had a call, sorry for that. Uh, it was pretty important, so uh, sorry for that. But um, let's go, go back to the tutorial. So yeah, I, I usually find it very annoying if it goes off by everything you say. I you have a meme in my channel, which is 45. Um, if you want to know about that meme, just type 45 in my Twitch chat and you will get the clip. But every time somebody says 45, that clip will be posted. So it's like kind of a meme. But if you do it with too many things, people are going to go crazy. And then you can set enable when streaming is online, offline or both. I mean, it doesn't really matter if people can do it when you're offline. It will not say your uptime because it doesn't work. 
but it is okay to do it when you're offline, I guess, right? And then activate command. Boom. We're going back to a Twitch chat. If you haven't done the slash mod stream elements yet, do that now. Um, otherwise, we just do exclamation mark up time. I can never type. <laughs> Tree is live for. Oh yeah, we just made that the the Dutch one because I wanted to show you that you could use different languages. Um, not live because we're not live. We're we're making a YouTube video. We're not live on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you are live, they will, this will say that you are live and it will just say the time that you're live and you can just change this to whatever you want. If you want to know more about stream elements, I have a lot more tutorials about it. So hop into this playlist with me and I'll see you there.